A quick but an important video today as Garmin last week released an update to their Varia RTL 515 and 516 rear tail light radar device. If you're not familiar with what these devices do, I'll put a few links in the video description below as I've covered these extensively, how they work, what they're all about, and the fact that I use them on almost every single ride that I do outside. So the RTL 515 was released back in May 2020, almost four years ago, and is compatible with pretty much every head unit that's out there now that you can buy. So they are quite popular. What's in this update? I'm glad you asked. Well, there was no announcement or notification of this update from Garmin other than, well, this is popping up on my Garmin Edge unit last week over at the Tour Down Under just before a ride. Now, as I hadn't named my sensor, I had no idea which sensor that was referring to. It turns out it was the RTL 515, and when plugging it into my Mac via a USB cable and loading up Garmin Express, this popped up, the changelog. So one thing I learned was there are two firmwares for this device. Firstly being the device firmware, which is 3.34, the changelog there being reduced radar timeout errors, and a firmware for the radar itself. Reduced radar timeout errors as well, same changelog, as well as improved the radar channel management that allows radar units to operate close to each other. So we'll speculate this may, just may fix, those radar timeout errors, or the radar sensor error 09 that people have been reporting for quite some time now. Again, just pure guesswork, but after installing this firmware and riding the Adelaide Hills for a few days, I didn't encounter that error. So maybe, just maybe, that's what it did fix. Now, if you are using a newer Garmin Edge unit, that sensor update will pop up automatically, but if you're using a Wahoo Element unit, a Roam or a Bolt, maybe you're using the Hammerhead Karoo 1 or 2, or any other branded GPS unit that isn't Garmin, you won't get that update automatically. You will need to plug in your device with a USB cable on your Mac and PC and load up Garmin Express to perform this update. I did try loading the Garmin Varia app, which this unit is compatible with, to check the version and check if it did the updates, but no, apparently not. The Varia app doesn't do the firmware updates. It's Garmin Express, that's what you'll need. A few other notes on this one um, to get ahead of a few questions that may come through. Uh, no updates were seen for the RTL 510, the previous model of this without Bluetooth, so that remains on the same firmware. No updates for the RDR 315, the similar version to this without the light, that also remains on the same firmware as it did before. And no other updates were seen for the RCT 715, the camera version of this device. Now after installing this update and taking it for a ride, it had me wondering, why is this getting an update so late in the product and life cycle? And I'll have a guess, pure speculation, is that Garmin are working on something new, maybe a USB-C version of this, and they've found a bug fix or an enhancement they could easily roll back into the existing device. Again, I have no lines of communication into what's going on at Garmin, pure guesswork, but that would explain why such an older device is getting an update last week. And looping back to that notification on the Garmin Edge, I'd love to see the Garmin Edge just tell me which sensor needed the update. Yes, I was lazy, I didn't rename the device, but obviously it knew what it was connected to. So if you could just pop up and say radar update available, or heart rate, or pedals, or whatever else the Garmin Edge wants to update, that'd be a neat little enhancement to the Edge units. Maybe we'll see that soon. And just lastly, before I let you go, it was great to catch up with the Garmin team from Australia over at the Tour Down Under, where I was told my videos were viewed so they could be across a little bit more detail of what Garmin themselves were releasing. So it was good to have some fans there too. All right, with that, we'll leave it there. Hopefully you found this informative. Again, do your updates. You'll have a better experience out on the bike, even for older devices. And as always, if you found this informative, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to be across more videos released on this channel. Thanks for watching.